The neurologists uh, in the U.S. Uh, at this point, you know, offer no solution. You know, they pretty much say, you know, you're going to, you know, have this problem, and you know, just sit down and understand that's going to happen. And you know, that's pretty much what my father and uh, uh, grandmother did. Uh, you know, it affected them uh, uh, greatly in their uh, late middle middle to late sixties. You know, you know, onto a cane and a walker and slurred speech imbalance. Uh, but uh, my sister and I, uh, you know, became a little bit more proactive. My cousin uh, saw on Nightline the interview uh, uh, with the, uh, the, with the, the uh, Biggie group uh, where ataxia was addressed with stem cells. And so I immediately went on the web and did the research and made reservations to come to uh, Qingdao to, uh, you know, get stem cells. Um, it was pretty much uh, just a, a, a faith-based, you know, uh, deal. Uh, I think, you know, we're obviously on the very cutting edge of uh, stem cells around the world. Uh, my name is Jeff Blank. My diagnosis is ataxia SCA6. Uh, the family history, uh, my father had the disease, my grandmother had the disease, my sister, so everyone on this side of the family has had ataxia. Uh, on my aunt's side or my father's sister, one sibling has it, one does not. Uh, but on our side of the family, it's 100%. Um, there really wasn't a diagnosis as, as I was growing up. Uh, it, so uh, my father didn't you know, get ataxia until his late 50s, early 60s. My sister, the same time, uh, and mine was a little bit earlier, Mine was about mid fifties, um, early fifties, fifty two. I first started to see, you know, the uh, imbalance in gait and, you know, the speech slurring and fine motor functions didn't occur till later. It's, ours is a very slow moving ataxia uh, later in life, uh, which is, I guess, a good thing. Uh, but uh, uh, the last year, I've seen it increase more. With you know, now I'm not sure it was my disguising gait or my, you know, uh, hiding the slurring of speech as much as it was the actual slow progression of the disease. Uh, well, my symptoms uh, the year before, you know, I was, you know, pretty much uh, uh, just, you know, like my father and grandmother, you know, resigned to the fact that this is the way things were going to progress. Uh, I saw my speech learning. I teach cooking schools and in the restaurant business. And so I do a lot of TV and public appearances. And so, you know, obviously, you know, uh, the symptoms I have appear like a stroke or a mild stroke as well. Uh, and, you know, I really haven't, you know, kind of come out of the closet, so to speak, as to what my problem is. Uh, and with the stem cells, you know, I, you know, I don't have to as much, you know. My friends, especially uh, uh, employees at the restaurant, were seeing me slow down, lack of stamina, you know, where I would work, you know, a 16 hour day and on my feet and in and out a lot. And, you know, um, uh, that wasn't the case anymore. And so, uh, especially when I was in front of an audience, you know, performing or cooking uh, and demonstrating, uh, did not, you know, um, you know, was not as comfortable, uh, you know, turning around the balance, you know, was not as good. And, you know, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people shake or, you know, have palsy kind of symptoms with the tax. Yeah. And mine hasn't progressed that much, uh, except in my, my gait, I started to see a little bit of that, you know, but, uh, stem cells seem to make it better. And the, the wonderful thing about the stem cells, um, is they seem to build and get better on, on top of each other. In other words, like two, two months from now, when I finished the stem cell treatments and I do balance exercise and work out, you know, moderately, um, you see improvement, uh, not only in your speech, but your balance and your gait and, you know, balance everything. Uh, so, you know, I, I think, you know, the therapy, uh, of, of, you know, working on balance here and when you return at home is of utmost uh, importance. The thing I've learned this time is that uh, 
the doctors have told me that lactic acid is not a friend of uh, stem cells. So you don't want to build up a lot of lactic, lactic acid, uh, which, you know, occurs, you know, from overworking, breaking the muscles down, and they rebuild it. And as they rebuild, that acid is released. And, and so, you know, I'm going to, you know, back off a vigorous workout and just do a good, moderate, you know, balanced workout and see if that, you know, will help the longevity and the, and the increase the, uh, the balance and speech. The first uh, cord blood was a spinal injection, uh, and I started to see immediate uh, uh, results. Uh, uh, more in stamina and just a well-being uh, was um, enormous. Uh, um, uh, and then uh, gradually the balance, gait, fine motor functions, walking, even light jogging became better. People say that you become addicted to stem cells, and I'm sure there is that a little bit of that well-being or feeling that occurs with stem cells uh, that you know doesn't stay forever. But you immediately you know think that each time you're going to get that much better again. Um, I've seen good increase now. This time around, I did a bone marrow transfer. In other words, they extracted a bone marrow from my hip and treated that with. Uh, a growth stem cell, uh, you know, proteins, enzymes, whatever they do to grow the stem cells in the bone marrow, and then injected those. And I saw, I saw that increase along with the cord blood increase. So, you know, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm assuming that the same thing will happen more and more as I, you know, uh, speed, balance, and work out. I'll get, you know, better, and better. The professionals at Banky have, have told me too. It's very important to stay in front of the disease on top of the disease. In other words, you know, as while research and development is being done to keep the symptoms at bay, you know, in other words, you know, uh, work on your speech and your balance, you know, and do the stem cells to stay ahead of the disease. You know, that is how I have been able to gauge my uh, progression, you know, uh, from, uh, you know, standing on a, uh, on a, Im imbalanced beam and having Andy throw a ball at me and catch it and throw it back at him, you know, and that type of thing, you know, all you can see how and walk upstairs and down ramps, uh, you can see how all that, you know, really encourages uh, development uh, and and directs the uh, stem cells uh, to the to the proper area, you know. So, uh, you know, again, you know. I think you know physical therapy uh, here and when you leave here is of uh, most important. Not overdoing it, but you know just every day doing you know at least an hour of balance you know, exercise. Uh, well, I, I would look at one thing being you know my speech is better, my balance is better, my gait is better. I, everything is becoming better and better. You know, so you know, you know that's what's important to me. You know. I, I, you know, I used to be a huge downhill skier. I don't think I will, you know, be going back onto the slopes again in snow skiing. But, you know, again, you know, quality of life is so much better if I can, you know, maintain my cooking school, my, you know, uh, uh, part in the restaurant and, you know, and such, you know, the business part, you know, at least for, you know, 10 more years until I'm almost, you know, mid 60s, late 60s, yeah. There's no comparison to a uh, hospital in the states. Uh, you know, pretty much. Um, you know, the Western doctors, you know, pretty much tell ataxia uh, patients there's nothing to be done. My sister has gone on to see a doctor in uh, California in Berkeley area who's doing research, but you know, he pretty much does you know eye hand coordination of motor functions, and you know, charts her disease progressing, and that's all. He offers no solution or no way to get better, you know, and that's, you know, that's, uh, I think that will change, you know, worldwide as, as uh, stem cell research is becoming available and, you know, development is done. It was great. Uh, um, you know, it, you know, we pretty much, you know, it crushed all our beliefs about, you know, China and the whole, you know, uh, third world country, you know, syndrome thing. You know, China is very progressive. 
there are hospitals, doctors and nurses and everyone has been, you know, marvelous. Uh, you know, the only other thing I would really like to say is that, you know, there really is a true hope for people with ataxia in the, in this, in the development of stem cells. And after talking to the doctors here, you know, I know that they're researching, you know, more stem cells and doing more and more as, you know, things become available. You know, I looked to uh, Banky to, uh, you know, uh, be on the cutting edge of that. And, you know, um, Sarah and I have talked about, you know, whether or not we'll make, you know, it's obviously a long way from, you know, uh, U.S. to China, you know, and so you have to you know, deal with that, you know, uh, jet lag and money and all that, you know, but, you know, I, I really feel, you know, I will come back at least one or two more times before stem cells or Banky develops in the in the Western world, uh, which, which they are looking at doing. So, you know, I have no qualms at all about coming back at all and, you know, uh, uh, getting another, you know, series of treatments.